Today we're going to be looking at the CamCaddy Scorpion camera stabilizing grip. And what this grip allows you to do is attach any camera with a quarter 20 thread. You can also attach devices like the iPhone or the GoPro camera with the appropriate adapter. You can attach the camera in several different orientations thanks to the movable screw and the slotted base. You can also attach a shoe mounted accessory such as a Rode video mic or an LED camera light using the optional and rather expensive shoe mount accessory. This currently sells for approximately $20 in the US and has to be purchased separately. And you can add several of these to the Scorpion and mount as many accessories as you like. The handle is relatively comfortable and has a rubberized grip. The Scorpion is about 8 inches deep and has about 5.75 inches of vertical clearance without the accessory adapter and about 4.75 inches with the adapter installed. This is sufficient for small DSLRs, camcorders and GoPros. However, it is advisable to check your camera's dimensions before you buy the Scorpion. With the camera mounted, you get much better grip and ergonomics. This is very important for DSLRs and mirrorless cameras that weren't designed for comfortable video shooting. You can also shoot very low to the ground footage, as you can see here. Now remember, this isn't a replacement for a steady cam or glide cam. The footage is more stable than freehand shooting, but don't expect a huge improvement. It's more of a better grip and less of a stabilizer. It also offers stability when panning the camera, as you can see in the footage. Here. The frame of the Scorpion is also reasonably stiff and there's very little flex even with a heavier DSLR mounted. And if you absolutely want to eliminate the flex, CamCaddy sells an optional lockout kit. One thing we don't like about the CamCaddy Scorpion is that the mounting thumb screw isn't permanently attached to the base. And this makes it very easy to lose or misplace the thumb screw when out in the field. It does have a thread on the side to store the screw when it isn't being used, but it's definitely a minor annoyance. And so overall thoughts, it's a well-designed grip that does exactly what it's supposed to, offer better grip. Now there are cheaper camera grips out there, but if you're a filmmaker who needs a grip with some level of flexibility to mount more accessories, the Scorpion is a great deal. Links to this grip and some other alternatives are below. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe for more reviews. Thanks for watching.